Hi Leo, welcome to your general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2022. This reading is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Alright, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Leo. So let's see, what is going on with Leo? Second half of June 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Ten of Wands crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. Well, somebody's tired, really tired. Um, and it almost feels like whoever this is, I feel like is not taking as much care of themselves as they could be. And this is just adding on to that exhaustion. Um, and in whatever way this relates to your connection with another person. Um, let's see. For you, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Okay, interesting, because I feel like you are... I almost want to say friend zoning this other person or and that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you truly want maybe it is maybe it isn't I don't know yet we'll see when we clarify um, but I feel like you know you definitely are coming from a place of wanting to work together with this person in some way or have some kind of a connection I don't necessarily see it as being um, love-based although of course it could be love-based but I feel like at the moment like you're just more focused on all right you know let's work something out or let's figure something out um, something along those lines but at the same time it's like you're I, I don't know if you believe that that's possible we'll see for them we have the ace of swords the king of wands and the world card This person is definitely feeling um, passion towards you. Um, I, I, it does also feel like they're taking some action, but we'll see what that's about. Definitely wanting to overcome something as well. Just like you want to work something out, you want to figure something out. Maybe you're friend zoning them for some of you. It doesn't have to be for all of you. Um, but this person is definitely feeling that passion towards you and they are moving towards closing out some kind of a cycle something or maybe even an achievement of something so yeah it's it's pretty vague right now we'll see when we clarify uh potential outcome strength and it does feel like we have um a bit of your energy here both with the king of wands as well as with the strength card so really interesting definitely moving towards some lessons being learned or just this connection becoming um, I'm getting like building a more solid foundation in some way even though it feels like at the moment I feel like you're not really agreeing on something with this two of swords here but let's see let's clarify So let's see that Ten of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, the Four of Pentacles, the Tower, ooh, and Judgment. Yeah, somebody is, um, somebody hasn't been taking care of themselves. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but I feel like, it's, it's almost like somebody has been holding back from allowing some kind of a tower to fall. So what does that mean? Um, it's like holding back from allowing something to be destructed in your life or in their life. 
holding on to something very, very tightly because there's some kind of an insecurity or a fear of losing that. Um, and so because of that, it's like this person is not really um, thinking about what it is that is good for them and this is just getting more and more and more overwhelming. The weight of that is getting um, heavier and heavier. But see, we also have this judgment card here to tell me that, well, you, you know what, like this, that tower, it's going to fall. It's not showing up yet in the rest of the reading, but it's bound, it's bound to fall. Like, whoever this is, I feel is getting a lot of um, signs and messages and pushes from the universe. And it's like the more that this person resists, you know, it just feels heavier and heavier and heavier until they, you know, they, they're just not really going to have much of a choice. Um, but to actually look at themselves and do what it is for their own self. So whatever that is. All right, let's see the three of pentacles for your energy. The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Ooh, all right. Interesting. Okay, so for those of you that may have friend zoned this person, um, I'm getting you, you still, you would still want them to come in for the, uh, to have this happily ever after with them. And then for others of you, you just want to work this out. You just want to work this out and be happy. And I almost also get that, you know, you're willing to take that step. Because I see you, either way, whether it is to maintain a friendship or whether it is wanting this love connection, you're willing to put in that work. You're willing to even be the one to um, make a move. But I don't know if you are. Let's see the Queen of Swords. Two of Cups. Like how many more of these um, lovey cup cards are we gonna get? And the Hanged Man. Yeah, you're not. It's like you would want to, um, but for some reason you're not. Um, you, gosh, wow, like you really want this. And I do get that there is definitely love here. I mean, this person definitely feels this passion for you as well. Um, I feel like you're trying to think logically and it's like your, your logic is telling you no, you know? Um, yeah, I am willing to put in this much effort. I want to work things out, but... I also have to receive that from the other person. And so I feel like because of that, you know, you're just kind of maybe waiting to see what's going to unfold. I don't know, let's see that Two of Swords. Temperance. All right, Sagittarius and the Nine of Wands. All right. Just, you know, I, I feel like this is a message for you if this is resonating with you so far. To not... Um, to not allow, you know, your, your thinking to get the better of you. You know, make sure that you, you know, can find that balance and make sure that, you know, you're doing something to find some peace within you, you know, however much that's possible. Because I feel like, you know, the more that you, you know, are not sure, you know, which way things are going to go or what this person is going to do, because you're sure of what you want to do. Um, I feel like the more that it's just kind of making this more difficult for you to cope with. And so you're being asked to, I mean, yeah, feel your feelings, right? Think your thoughts, but be aware of them so that they don't take over. Once you become aware of what might be happening in your mind, 
it'll stop taking over. And it will, it will subside a little bit. I feel like, you know, there's this, there's this concern or there's this um, thought that, you know, maybe things won't work out. Then what? It, it's kind of like that. Like, what if this person doesn't agree, you know, with how I'm feeling or with what I'm wanting? Then what? And then that can just, like, spiral. So I'm not telling you to not have those thoughts because, yeah, you know, maybe that is a possibility. Um, I'm just telling you to be aware of what's going on in your, in your mind because that's when it stops taking control of you. Once you notice it, it won't take so much, at least won't take so much of your of your mind space is what I mean all right let's see what's going on with this person let's see this ace of swords we have the king of cups and we have the three of pentacles for them as well I mean look at this I'm telling you this person is definitely um feeling very similar I mean because I was like <laughs> thinking well almost all the cup cards the, you know the most loving ones came out in your energy what's left in the deck for them but then here here you go, King of Cups. Um, the, I see this person really wanting the same thing, that Three of Pentacles, wanting to take that action, um, feeling that love. I'm just not sure if the two of you, if you are in contact, if you've decided that, you know, hey, you know what, we don't agree on certain things, we can only be friends. If that's the case, I feel like you both have deeper feelings for each other, though whether that's out in the open or not. Um, if you're not in contact, well, you're, you're in a very similar vibe towards each other. Let me see this King of Wands. Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. All right, there it is. So there is something that's going on with this person that is oh, keeping the two of you from coming to some sort of a consensus or agreement here. This person is feeling the passion. I feel like this person even has what it takes to overcome whatever these obstacles are. Um, especially if it's them here with this Ten of Wands that I was talking about in the beginning and the Tower. But I feel like, you know, they're kind of focusing more on the negatives or on what they have to lose by allowing that tower to fall, whatever it is, and for each of them it's going to be something different, um, rather than focusing on what they have to gain. And because of that, I, it's like they're actually deceiving their own self in the sense of not, not really going after this or not going after what it is that they want. So yeah, it does feel... Um, mostly like, I mean, unless the roles are reversed, that this person down here is the one who is exhausted because they're not taking so much good care of themselves because they're holding on to something and they're having this major wake-up call about it. And I mean, the wake-up call could even just be in the form of them just getting more and more ex exhausted with whatever this issue is. Hmm... All right, let's see the world, because that, that looks promising, doesn't it? So the world, oh, the Ace of Swords again, and the Nine of Cups. This reading, there are parts of it that remind me of Aries, by the way. Um, I mean, the Aries reading, which I did right before this one. So... There's definitely some action here that's being taken, and it's... It's involving closing out some kind of a cycle, maybe something that was repeating itself, or maybe some major chapter, reaching some kind of an achievement in the direction of moving towards their wish fulfillment, moving towards something that they really, really want, which I do feel is you, right? Having had this King of Cups here as well. So there's definitely some movement here. Um, something is happening. And it's, it's looking pretty good. 
Let's see. At least that's the direction that they're moving in. Let's see strength for the potential outcome. Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, okay, Taurus, and the Page of Wands. I do see this, I mean, even though the Strength card is representing Leo, I do see this as being the other person because it's the other person here who needs that push or who needs that, that strength to overcome something here. So... It's still a work in progress, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Interesting because I said something very similar to Aries as well for the potential outcome. Um, but the pieces are like falling into place. There is something that is being done. There is some kind of an action where, okay, I'm beginning to, you know, um, put this plan into action, right? Planting, planting those seeds, especially concerning a commitment here. And I do see it again as it being baby steps, but it's still a step. So for some of you, if you're not in communication, this definitely could be communication with the page of wands um, showing up here. Um, but I'm mostly seeing it as a new start, right? A new start in terms of moving in the direction towards a commitment putting something into place. All right, Leo, let's see if this resonated. The final message for you, we have the full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, and I, I definitely feel like that is related mostly to the other person here, um, especially concerning that tower that needs to fall and that world card closing something out that needs to be closed um, in order for them to move forward. So it's like they're planting the seeds of that, of that closure. So yeah, those are your messages, Leo. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.